Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda, and I'm going camping today. It is our first trip, our first camping trip of 2021, and it only starts in a few hours, and I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm really not ready. I would like, would like to say I'm close to ready, but that would be a lie. I'm not ready. So, um, I came to town. I brought my little guy with me. The guy that I babysit, his name is Boober. He's already unbuckled it. You ready to go in, buddy? <laughs> Can you see yourself? Say hi. <laughs> Anyways, he's going to come in with me and we're going to find some stuff. And Curtis just texted me. Apparently I need to find a ratchet strap. I'm going to Google what that is here in a second because I'm just like, Okay. Okay. He was going to come with me. Um, but he needs to help his parents. His parents are actually joining our camping crew. They just bought a trailer and it's his father's first time hitching up his trailer to his truck. So Curtis is going over to his help, his help, his house to help him. And, um, when he's done that, he's going to go home and continue getting stuff ready. And I'm hoping like that he gets a hundred percent all the way ready. Everything that he can do is done. So when I get back home, he's mine and I can make him do whatever I want. <laughs> really? I just mean, please help. Please please help with the stuff. Like I just, I need help guys in more ways than one. And can you tell my eye is so messed up? Like right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know if it's, oh yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, I didn't sleep well last night. Not going to lie. I did not sleep well. <laughs> I went, I'm having some technical issues with my laptop again. Um, YouTube's being a little funny too. So next week I'm going to worry about all that. I'm going to get a new laptop, bring mine in, do the whole geek squad thing again and everything will work out. It's totally fine. It's just a little, you know, a little stress inducing, but that's okay. It's okay. Rum and Cokes later guys. All right. We are going to go in. You ready, Boober? Yeah. All right, let's roll. First things first, getting some hair dye. I think these are ratchet straps from the picture on Google. Looks pretty good. I am looking at my list today, guys. It's important. <laughs> I never really like buying these s'mores packs because I always find the Graham wafers are like cheap. They're not, I'm like a connoisseur of s'mores. so. I'm gonna buy Graham wafers in the cracker section, but check these out. Six full-size bars, Hershey's the best for $4.47. That's awesome. I've never seen this kind of pack before. More ways to s'more, nice. How's Dingle Hopper doing? Is he doing good? <laughs> if you noticed Dingle Hopper's um, Band-Aid, he had a little head trauma a few weeks ago when uh, accidentally, Curtis forgot Dinglehopper on the couch. It was actually, I think I was at an appointment at the hospital. I can't remember what an appointment. I've been to the hospital a few times, you know. Um, but anyways, he's living. He's just a wounded, a wounded love. <laughs> I was just walking by and I saw this and I thought how perfect for Father's Day for Curtis. They're only $9 and you know, he's obsessed with Mario. So super daddy -o, get it? Cute, I'm gonna buy one. Camping rice. There we got it. Somebody wanted to wear his hat like Curtis. <laughs> Whoa, is that a cool ride? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just wanted to show you guys $227 right here three bags and a case of water youch every time guys <laughs> here boober give me your hands buddy oh yeah clean dangler's hands too okay uh, feel the burn that's when you know. See all those cuts? Oh, that's when you know. If you didn't know you had a cut on your hand, you put hand sanitizer on. It's like, oh, I have cuts on my hands. I couldn't tell. Is he all clean? Yeah? All right. 
We're gonna head home, guys. We will catch up with you. Safety first, we'll catch up with you there. Back home, got everything on the table. Still got a lot of laundry to do. I'm not packed. Curtis is not done packing the stuff that he was going to do, so he is not ready for me to be home. If you're wondering what that giant Amazon box is, it's dog food. Um, anyways, he when I pulled in the driveway, he's like, "How'd you how'd you get back so fast?" <laughs> Normally he complains that I take too long and this time I apparently didn't take long enough, but I still have so much to do. So, um, we're going to go through this and, um, then I think it's lunchtime, but I'm not going to lie. I totally just ate a cookie because <laughs> cookies. <laughs> All right. We're going to start it off with the moose juice, also known to some people as apple juice. Um, this is perfect for camping. So we do have other juices that are already in the trailer, but thought this would be great because that's Winnie's favorite. Also got another case of water. There is one in the trailer, but I grabbed one more. Um, this is what mommy calls camping rice because it's the kind that you literally cook in the microwave. You squish it all up, cook it in the microwave for two minutes, and then it's done. So um, that is the easiest. I know it's probably not like preservative wise and stuff like that. Probably not the healthiest, but I don't really care. Um, Winnie will eat this as well with butter and salt on it. So I grabbed two packages of those. That, I mean, if we were all eating it together, probably I would have to make both at the same time. I'm not exactly sure what the meal plan is. I really should have planned ahead. I didn't. <laughs> um, these are new. I've never seen these kind before. I did get the Kimberly's regular frosted ones. Winnie loves these. Everyone loves these, but uh, Winnie especially does. And I thought, man, like two for $6. Why don't I go ahead and try the Oreo ones? I mean, I just thought, you know, like <laughs> we have to test it for science, you know? Um, I got toothpaste for Skylar. Oh, no, wait, this is Skylar. This is mom, dad, and Cooper. And this is Winnie's. Um, these are going to stay in the trailer. And if I have to buy more, then I'll just buy more and put it right in the trailer. Um, all right, we got some pepperoni. We used to be vegetarian. I used to be vegan, actually, um, for, you know, just like four and a half, five years. Um, and Winnie still doesn't eat meat. So this is for Winnie. This is the pepperoni that she will eat. She just eats it like cut up, like not on anything because heaven forbid foods touch each other, you know? Um, I got some crystal light to go in the trailer. I have been drinking a little bit less of this and it was a difficult transition, but I feel like I'm, I've got a better balance now. Um, talk to me after the weekend. We'll see how much <laughs> the balance might just tip over this weekend. Um, Lara bars. I got this pack. I think this is usually $5 and 97 cents. I got some craft dinner. I only got what I needed for right now. Um, I kind of adopted a way of shopping where I just shop more often for a lesser amount. Um, it helps with my anxiety. Oddly enough, I, I thought shopping less would help, but no, it's shopping smaller. Um, so I just got enough for the weekend and I am planning on going back to the grocery early next week, the grocery, the grocery store early next week to, um, get some fresh fruit and veggies and then anything I need for the next few days to start the week off. How did you so quietly get over here? I'm <laughs> You're kind of a stalker. <laughs> I got some super manly cereal for my manly man husband. <laughs> that was $3.97. I got some fudgicles. Actually, I should put these in the freezer right now. Um, I think we're going to take these camping too. Sometimes our fridge doesn't work good enough to keep these frozen because it just gets too hot in the middle of the summer, but it'll be good for now. And of course, after I was bad talking the s'mores packages, I could not find my graham wafers. They didn't have them at all. I went through the whole, like the whole cracker aisle, the whole cookie aisle. I checked all the end caps. I like the ones that they're called like Honey Mel, I think that's the name of them. Um, anyways, it's a blue box. I don't know. I always know it when I see it and they're the best ones. I don't know if we've had these ones yet. They probably suck. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully they don't suck. I'm sure I'll eat them. I'm sure Cooper will eat them. I think Cooper and I are the only ones who actually eat s'mores. Curtis might, but he actually prefers to eat what we call glizzies <laughs> at the campfire. Glizzies are also known like to normal people as hot dogs. <laughs> but to our camping crew, they're glizzies. <laughs> and I grabbed a pack of these black diamond cheese sticks, not cheese strings. 
Winnie will eat these cheese sticks only. So it doesn't matter if they're on sale or not. And actually they were on sale today, um, $4.97. But uh, I buy them no matter what, because then she'll actually eat them and she can have that morning, noon and night. You know what I mean? So, well, not all on the same day, but you know, you know what I'm saying? It's good for any time of the day. Um, I grabbed a small butter because I just didn't want to bring one of my big giant Costco base cells in our little fridge in the trailer. Um, actually our fridge is actually quite big compared to some trailers, but it's still kind of little to us. <laughs> um, of course you guys saw the Hershey's chocolate bars. Um, I grabbed two of these, um, baby lotions, but they're not for babies. They're for our entire family. This stuff is gold. It's gold. I'm telling you, it heals everything. It doesn't stink. It's not greasy. And Curtis has an issue with things that smell like a woman and you're not getting woman smells with this. So anyways, I bought two. One's going to be to go in our bedroom and then this one's going to go in the trailer. We also keep a hand pump over here in the kitchen at all times. This is what I use for Winnie's face before she goes to school. All right. I also got five of these um, travel toothbrush holder thingies. Um, I was hoping to get five different colors, but they didn't have it. So I think I'm just going to write names on them maybe i just thought this, this would be a good way to keep them separated and not in a ziploc bag because it just gets nasty you know and like it drips and yeah it's not it's not cool um i did buy a bunch of toothbrushes yesterday at dollarama but they did not have a medium strength and curtis kind of brushes his teeth like vigorously <laughs> that's a funny word um so he needs a little bit harder of a let's stop <laughs> I think we could say um, he just needs a stronger bristle, N right? More firm. Can you not say firm? No! <laughs> Curtis wants his ratchet strap, so he's They're gonna ratchet ra straps. Right, right, right. Ratchet. That's oh yeah, like classy, bougie, ratchet, silly, nasty. I don't know. Thank okay, <laughs> um, twenty bucks. I got the right ones. Do you think? Yeah. yeah. Work. Sweet. The Caroline bikes won't fall off the trailer. We hope. <laughs> I grabbed this super duper cheap hand soap. This is only a dollar. It's the Ikete. And um, <laughs> shut up with your weird language. It's Ikete. You know it is. Um, okay. And this doesn't smell like a woman. Curtis is super picky about my women smells. So I just got like a boring generic soap. Uh, got some cream sunscreen you guys saw yesterday at Costco. Yes, I got three. Um, spray bottles, that is what I prefer for spraying down my kids. But when it comes to their faces, I only use this. I only use a cream and it's always copper tone because we're a little bit of sunscreen snobs apparently. Um, but anyways, I refuse to spray my kids in the face or put that grease in my hands and then spray it on their face. That's just nasty. So this is like 10 bucks. So youch, but also Eh, safety first. Um, these were on sale for just under $10. And you know what these are for. This is for me. This is for Winnie. And we're going to be princesses forever together with our cool hair. I'm not doing that tonight. I just wanted to um, have it on hand for when I had time to do it. And now we got some baby wipes. Never go anywhere without baby wipes, especially when you're camping. Multi-purpose, guys. Uh, $2.97 each. All right. I'm not done. I picked up this from my honey for Father's Day. They did have other like rad dad and other kind of dad shirts, but I love, I like this one the best. Nine bucks. Great. And then I also got Curtis these sunglasses, but I'm going to give them to him today. And those were $20. And then I found some for $9.97 for the boys. So I'm going to give those to them today as well. And I bought some new ones for Winnie yesterday, so I'm the only one who doesn't get any new shades. <laughs> Rip off. I should have bought myself some. Hey. I got you some shades. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at the back. Look, It looks like wood, right? Yeah. Like Uncle Nay, doesn't he have ones like kind of like that? Yeah, like the really expensive ones. Yeah, Ray-Bans. Yeah, Ray-Bans. But I got, I got you Walmart. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Look at this shirt for Father's Day. That's cool. Super daddy-o. Yeah. That's Neat, really, eh? Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> bow, chicka bow, wow. <laughs> I gotta come up with some new songs. Uh, hey, you wanna turn it on the little Macalena? No? Not better? Uh, I, <laughs> I bought you something. Oh, 
Shades. <laughs> Thank you very much. Are these camping shades? Uh huh. Camping shades. <laughs> Ooh. Sleek design, right? I like it. How do I look? Mm, sexy fed. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm on a major mission. <laughs> my body is like actually so sore. My legs are throbbing right now, literally because I haven't sat down all day. Well, no, that's a lie. I sat down to eat a sub really quick with Curtis. We didn't even watch a whole show. We watched like one little section of a baking show we're into right now, uh, the Great Canadian Bake Off or something like that. Anyways, um, you can hear Winnie and her monitor. Her and Skylar are going over... Uh, the Disney Plus app, trying to figure out what movies they want to download. And I just ran downstairs to fill up some treat buckets. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And look what I'm doing. Sitting down. Sitting down. Oh, I can't wait to sit down all weekend. That's like, that's the plan. I'm literally ass in chair. That is Miranda's plan for the whole weekend. <laughs> This was the best sit break I've ever had. <laughs> it's actually really sweet because I heard um, Skylar and Winnie talking over the monitor and obviously no one was thinking that I was listening to them, um, but it just, it was really tender and I'm like, oh. my kids are so good. I mean, they all do have their issues and that's okay. And we're dealing with something right now with our oldest and it's okay. We're not gonna talk about it. Everything's fine. It's just, we're going through something right now and it's just so nice to have like moments when you can just like quietly appreciate your child and be grateful and whoa okay having a little wave but we're good <laughs> we're good um anyways um when i bought these at the dollarama or the great canadian dollar store i thought they were all going to be different i thought they were all going to be different shapes because like look at the box different shapes different colors so i actually checked and went through the boxes and made sure that i got three that looked like they were a rainbow because i definitely knew the three girls that are going to be getting these treat bags or treat buckets they're all going to want the same because that's the way they are um so i made sure that i got three rainbows and then the other ones i just like grabbed different colors but turned out they're all rainbows every single one of them every single one of them i don't know if i just was a lucky grab or what but uh yeah all six all six are the exact same they're all shaped like an apple and they are all a rainbow and if you're wondering this is actually like a game you can play a game the last person to pop the thingy is the winner or the last one to have one i can't remember how to play <laughs> but it's basically just like a fidget spinner like just something for kids to play with um and they're like a trendy toy right now so never did i ever think i would spend 45 dollars on these just in one store but i guess i spent 30 dollars on these the other yeah it's it is what it is i spent too much money you guys all know that it's a, it's a problem but at the same time it's like is it a problem no it's really not it's not a problem okay random question i'm very close to the camera now hi how you doing i only have mascara on don't look too close um what color are my eyes like straight up what color do you think my eyes are I'm very curious <laughs> because everyone in my family, like my mom, my dad, my brother, my two sisters, they all have blue eyes, very obviously blue, but my eyes, I swear they change color. Sometimes I look at my eyes and I think, oh yeah, those are baby blues, honey. And then sometimes I'm like, are you green? <laughs> Honestly, like what color do they look like to you? I just noticed when I was about to get up from my seat, I looked at myself in the camera and I was like, are my eyes green right now? I don't know. I don't know what color my own eyes are. I know it's horrible. It's just they're a very strange shade. Curtis thinks they're green, but Curtis is colorblind. So that does nothing for me. It's not helpful. <laughs> um, Winnie's eyes are brown, just like Skylar's eyes are brown. Cooper's are like so blue so blue and curtis's are the color of baby poop <laughs> that's what i always say to him i know it's not nice but it's like it's a funny thing that i say but it yeah they really do you know like babies breastfed poop that's that's what it looks like and i mean beautiful and his eyelashes are like go on for days okay but no yeah anyways i'm just curious what color do you think 
I can't tell. And I, I still have like an issue with this eye, but I'm okay. It just hurts a little bit. Okay, so each little treat bucket um, that the kids are gonna get today have the bucket with the shovel. And then some Canadian Smarties. They are not M&Ms, they're Smarties, which is a candy coated chocolate, very similarly shaped to an M&M, only there's no M&M on it, like writing, and it's not quite as good as M&M to some people, and some people way prefer Smarties. It's a little bit of a different taste of chocolate and a different taste of the candy coating. Um, if I could send you all a Smartie box, I would, but maybe when I win the lottery, I will totally do that. That would be very fun. Um, but anyways, Smarties. Slitherio Fidget Spinner, the Pièce de la Résistance, the clacker, and we have extra clackers for the parents too. <laughs> oh, check out that technique! Yeah, I bought them for you today. Like the exact same ones. And you have oh. similar ones. Oh, they were. Those are Walmart ones. Say hello. I figured you might want some more for camping. All right, tell me. Cooper just came home from school, and he's like, so oh. me and my friend Jake, a different Jake, not his bestie Jake, a different Jake. Probably that's in your class, I'm guessing. Yeah. You pied your principal in the face? Yeah. Explain. Explain. Yes, why did you pie your teacher in the face? Uh, so we do this like reading challenge thingy. Every 20 minutes you read, your name gets put in a draw. Shut up, they drew your name? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Really? Out of how many kids? I don't, well. Like all the class. whole middle school? No, just their class. Just your class, yeah. okay, sweet. So Tammy let you pie her in the, or let's say it right. Mrs. Constantine, I call her Tam Tam, just saying, but <laughs> all right, so she, you pied her in the face. Yeah. What kind of pie? Uh, what's it called? Butterscotch. <gasps> what a waste of a delicious pie. Oh, I love butterscotch pie. <laughs> I'm proud of you, son. Well done. Well done. Many a men have tried. No. <laughs> Ooh la la. Okay, do a spinner. Ooh, gorgeous. She's all hitched up. Packing your onesie. <laughs> and three lotions, nice. Yeah, that's one of our grocery bags filled with food, but your bags are already all full. Oh no, you didn't get any of your stuffies yet. I know, I was just gonna Okay, go get your stuffies. I need another bag. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, it is 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm going to end this vlog here, right here, right now. <laughs> um, we're, I, we got to get ready to go. And I'm worried we're not going to get out of here for a while. So I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this. And I'm going to put it on YouTube so that you can see this tomorrow morning. And then Sunday morning, we have the funniest taste test ever for you guys to watch. When I edited that video last night, I laughed so many times and rewatched parts. Even though I lived it out and watched it, I was like watching it again because it was too funny. Anyways, um, you guys will see that on Sunday. Okay. And then on Monday, I will have the camping weekend vlog for you. So you won't miss Plus Size in Canada. There will be a video for you guys every morning at 7.30 my time. And you can watch it whenever your heart desires. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful freaking weekend. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>